How do you move a statue that weighs over 83 tons without cutting it, without laying it down, and without letting it shatter into a million pieces? In 2004, Egypt faced this monumental challenge with the colossal statue of Ramses II. The mission, move it from the chaotic Ramses Square to its new home at the Grand Egyptian Museum. Experts from around the globe were unanimous. They all said it was impossible. Their solution, cut it into pieces or lay it down, otherwise it will break. But one Egyptian engineer, Dr. Ahmed Mohammed Hussein, refused to accept impossible. He stood before the towering statue and declared something that would change everything. We'll move Ramses while he's standing. The room erupted in laughter. It was considered absolute madness. How could a statue so tall and ancient survive bridges, sharp turns and bumpy roads without toppling over? A single miscalculation, one wrong tilt and centuries of priceless history would be reduced to dust. Undeterred, Ahmed built a scale model to demonstrate his vision. He explained that the statue would swing gently, perfectly balanced throughout its journey. When questioned about the risk, his answer was simple and confident, zero. Still, nobody believed him, not even Egypt's most senior experts. The turning point came when a foreign company publicly mocked Egypt saying, if you can't even lift your own underwater statues, how do you expect to move Ramses? This insult reached the highest levels of government. The order came down directly from the president, move it in four months. Suddenly, the impossible had a deadline. A specialized transport system was engineered, a monstrous 475-ton crane was brought in, and the world watched, holding its breath. On the day of the move, hundreds of reporters gathered, cameras ready, most of them waiting for the moment of catastrophic failure. As the journey began, Ahmed calmly instructed the driver to move forward slowly, and then to brake suddenly. The massive statue swayed backward. The crowd gasped, some screamed, it's falling. But then, just as Ahmed had predicted, it swung gently forward and settled perfectly upright. It was stable, it was unshaken. That day, Ramses II traveled across Cairo, standing tall and proud, a silent testament to the engineers who refused to bow to doubt. When the statue finally arrived safely at the museum, cameras swarmed toward the ministers and officials. But the man who made it all happen, Dr. Ahmed Hussein, stood quietly in the background, watching from a distance. Later.